the way you think about yourself, the way you are viewed by the world, and the characteristics that define you is your identity, and it is important in building you, um, building your image, whether you are a career woman, stay-at-home woman, or a businesswoman. Our next guest, Yetunde Bankoli Bernard, is the principal strategist at Yetunde Bankoli um, Bernard Company, a brand a personal brand and personality development agency. Her organization specializes in working with individuals and business owners that desire to define their identity, tell their unique story in order to inspire others, connect their visions as well. Now remember, you can join the conversation. Twitter us at Plus TV Africa or at Waste Your Africa One with the hashtag Waste, or you send us SMS or WhatsApp. 081-803-84663. Not call, WhatsApp, or SMS. Thank you so much for joining us here Thank today. Thank you. We're really, really an honor to have you here. Thank you. Mm. You know what? Because we, we need to just jump right into yeah. the conversation. Yeah. Now, I, I heard you speak um, somewhere last week. You know, you were talking about personal brand and identity. Mm. And for me, that was very, very distinct because everywhere you go in Lagos, branding, branding, my personal brand, you know, and all of that, and it's flying all over the place. But there was something unique about what you said about identity and, you know, the monopoly of the power of an identity. And, you know, I thought that was really, really interesting. And it would be nice for you, for you to help us, you know, break that down and share with us why you believe so much in identity. Oh, well, um, I think that the first thing really is that um, there are, I mean, right now, knowledge is cheap. You know what I mean? You can find anything online. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people feel that they have, um, they have all of the tools that they need. Um, so when you hear things like personal branding, you know, people tell you, oh, I'm a brand, oh, I'm a personal brand strategist, oh, I'm a this and I'm that, and all I need to do is so-so this and so, logo, color, um, <laughs> dress this way, look this way, <laughs> speak that way, this. and then you just turn around and everybody looks the same. Mm -hmm. So because we are all following a manual. So it's this way, this way, this way, but, you know, I have found over time, obviously because of my, my background is in marketing communications and I have been in that industry for about 10 to 15 years, working mm -hmm. primarily on um, brands and then translating to working with people what I found is that the only thing that sets you aside or apart from the other person is you and that means that you have to tell a unique story which is synonymous to you and so it's really not about it's no longer about personal brand it's about inner wisdom and carving whatever your inner voice is and being able to share your story in a way that resonates with another person mm. so it's no longer about color and and style and um, look and feel and complimentary, and cards. complimentary <laughs> cards is now about memorability how do I touch you in a way that I Impact. remember mm -hmm. I just remember I have met you before who are you and the only way I do that is to offer value that only I can give and that's if I know my worth and I know um, for instance I know my talents my giftings my abilities the reason why people are friends with me the reason why people are with me the reason why um, somebody wants to talk to me instead of the other person and if I'm, a if I'm able to um, put that always at the forefront and I'm able to put my first foot forward. Now, it's no longer about first impressions, like I said. It's really, there's nothing like a first impression because it's really, um, once I meet you, I need to be able to connect to you in a way that, mm. you know, I, I, there's an anchor. I just remember there's something so you about leave a you. Memory you leave a memory. So it's really memory about an experience. Is, yeah. So it's about experience. the experience that you give. It's no longer about a personal brand of color and type and right. feel and whatever. It's about the experience that you live, the taste that you live on my lips. You know, th that's that, that's what it, it really is about. Awesome. Right now. awesome. Okay. So I was just going to say because wow. I mean, I, I was waiting to understand how because we had this argument and I said no, it's all about the brand and. I'm like, wow, there's perspectives that you, you absolutely need mm. somebody else to open your mind to. But now that you've given us that insight, yeah. can you put a value to identity? Because the reason why people are so embracing this concept of personal brand is because, of course, after the personal brand comes the Naira and the couple. <laughs> so when we move away from the concept of, of, uh, of a brand and we now accept and embrace this idea of identity, how do you add value to that? Okay, so here's the thing. We're not saying move away from personal brand. We're saying that this is 
overflogged. Like right now, you should know as a man, I mean, come on, you should know that you shouldn't wear a brown belt and, and black shoes. I mean, come on, you should know that. You should know that as a lady, if you're going out, at least have manicured nails. If your nails are chipped, wipe Beautiful off nails. Wipe off the, the, <laughs> the, the, um, polish. the polish. It yeah. doesn't have to be half and half. You mm. know? I mean, those things are, we're beyond that. In today's world, we're beyond that. I shouldn't be telling you this, and I mean, don't have lipstick on your teeth. Don't, that's, it's not about <laughs> that anymore. <laughs> I mean, it's now about what are you offering me? What value do you bring? And that value is in your talents, your abilities, your giftings, your skills. So it's unique to you. How do you see your world? How do you, um, how do you take in information? What is, what, what, um, when I'm around you, what do I feel? So what's the energy? Are you that person that wants, do you have a presence? Have you mapped your inner power? Do you understand yourself? Do you have, you know, those are the things that we're talking about. We're no longer talking about and that, those basics. kind of things would bring income because of course. if you want to have an experience of you, yeah. you want more. I want more. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> Like, what's going on here? Yeah. So, so for instance, let me give you an example. You know, so I heard um, the, the lady and you guys were talking about introver introverts and extro extroverts and things like that. And I just wanted to, you know, add a bit there. So there's a difference between the way that we look at it in psychology and the way that we talk. For instance, there's mm -hmm. intro introversion and extroversion. Do you know what that is? It's just simply the way we take in information, energy. So for instance, if you are, um, so there are preferences. We all have two of those things. There are mm -hmm. preferences either I, I prefer this way or I prefer that way there's nothing mm -hmm. bad in so for instance um, if I am extroverted I like to get my energy from being around people from bouncing ideas of a lot of people, people from being with you know noise and you know music a lot of people I like yeah. all of that stuff but if I am introverted I want to I'm in a world of ideas in a world of images and you know I want to internalize I just want to talk about peace about it to quiet. one person not necessarily peace and quiet it's just in in my own world is like um, of images of ideas of thoughts so mm -hmm. that's who I am so the other person that is extroverted gets the same result from being in that space, yeah. from me that gets the same result. So there's nothing wrong in being introverted. And introversion is not shyness and it's not timidity. No. So we always Thank say, oh, I'm, I'm shy, but I'm introverted. No, you are not, honey. <laughs> you are just, you have not yet identified what is your core, what is yeah. your essence, what is your truth, what is your beauty. How do you always present your beauty as the first thing when somebody, when you interact with someone? Mm -hmm. that's, that's where we're going. Wow. So it's about presenting your best self your next your most your most deserved self yeah Ooh. all the time <laughs> wow so let's talk about publicity stunt I'm in entertainment industry obviously as yeah. an actor and there's this Marion Booth is trending right now because she leaked a video a naked video of herself and then there was a, a, a Tino Star who leaked a video and right now she's like the rave of the moment mm -hmm. so let's talk about publicity stunts does it really help improve your status is it something that how do I put it? And those, Does it work? And those identity, you know, I, I said I was going to ask her, ask her this question. The identity you create mm -hmm. from those kind of stunts, does it last? Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. Who are you? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Mm -hmm. So it's really about what you want, what you're trying to do um, at the end of the day. And what happens is that we are, as humans, we evolve. So people should not feel like this is who I am and so this is who I'll always be. Um, you can evolve and it's okay to evolve. However, so when you talk about all these publicity stunts and things like that, um, today's world thrives on nuisance, unfortunately. Mm. So, um, yes, today's world, so um, value has lost its meaning in so many ways. So what we considered as valuable before may no longer be, be valuable. However, we are still back to what do you want, who are you, what are you trying to do? So when you say, does it work, does it work for you? Is this who you want to be? How, what exactly are your values? What are you trying to achieve with this? Is this somewhere that you really want to go? And so that means that somebody that is able to take on all of that, okay, if that's what you want, you want to take it on, if that's the identity you want to carry on, um, or you want people to, to perceive about you, then that's fine, that's, that's for you. So it's really... It, it, it's really a definition it's of... It's really it. very personal. Awesome. At the end of the day. Okay, talking, talking about <laughs> personal, I was arguing with Oti, I said, I mean, I don't think it's everybody that, that needs an identity. We all have one. It's not, about, it's not a matter of you need. No. You all have one. Well, because, I, no, they are very, brand. very strong. So mm. we're talking brand now. Okay. So they're brand very, very strong. Identity. Yeah. Okay. Like a brand identity, we're talking. That, okay. Is it everybody that must really have a brand identity? Okay. If you, so 
So she, you think? So I, I'm that thinking not that everybody it's, it's, needs it's a not brand. everybody that needs it. And now that you even talked about identity, maybe we should say that not everybody needs a brand, but everybody certainly needs an identity. Because even if you are in a career, you want to be known for something. You've got so to that's be. my you know, point of view. I think yes. you need to be known for something. So if you are true to your word, you're a man of integrity, a woman of integrity, you know, that goes before you. So we, that is the value that you bring to the table. So I think that absolutely you have yeah. to have it. So that's what we were arguing. Oh, yes, you, you do. I mean, because guess what? Um, how do you, as humans, what we want really is acceptability, we want mm. to be honored, we want to be valued. That is true. And so as human beings. And you cannot be that if you do not know who you are and if you don't always put that on the table. And that really is the identity we're talking about. So, I mean, I would not relate to you from a place of value if I don't perceive any. Mm. And here's the thing, the people that relate to you, they know what they see. Of course. Mm. They know, but you know what happens? That's how, how people get taken advantage of, and you feel, oh, I have been, you know, I, I'm not getting what I'm, I'm worth. I'm not, because you have not stepped up oh. to your greatness. So yeah. it's, it's wow. how do we now oh, find this identity, mm -hmm. own it, okay. and, um, and probably look, um, ex explore the possibilities of coming to that point of personal power where you now know that this is who I am. Okay. So apart from the fact that, you know, I don't want to blow my own trumpet by saying, I well, was just going well, to ask. I mean, hey, 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 my, my question was hey. really that if I come and sit, book an appointment and come and sit in front of you, like, you're going to pay a lot of money, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, okay. Let me put that aside. But there are easy, easy um, tips. One of, you know, when we talk about self-awareness, it's really not any, it's not rocket science. So self-awareness is always asking a question when you go through whatever experience is. Asking a question. So somebody asks you for something. Why? I would, I would go back and say, hmm, why me and not her? Mm -hmm. Am I? So there must be something that this person is seeing. So I interrogate, I interrogate it. Somebody says, oh, you did this so far. I was so impressed about what you did. You just say thank you. No. Go a step further. What exactly did I do? What exactly did you, oh, wow. did you like about that? So you get that feedback and you're like, hmm, okay. So I need to improve on this. And it helps you to begin to own your own power. And, and over time, so it's like a validation. When somebody says this, you, you recognize it. And you say, okay, this, thing, this person has said this, person this, has said this yeah. before. I need to work on. It's like focusing on your strengths and just growing those strengths. So I always believe, I mean, I'm that person that says all this strength, weakness, focus on the strengths. The, the weaknesses will go because guess what? Your strength can be a weakness. Your weakness can be a strength. Mm. So it depends on how you look at it yeah. and how you channel your energies to it. So it's really about you making a conscious effort to interrogate your processes, to interrogate your experiences, to interrogate your relationships, your, your beliefs, your thoughts, your ideals, everything. Every time you feel like I'm evolving. So why did why was I upset about this thing? Why did this thing really excite me? What is happening to me right now? To so become more aware, more conscious of, of yourself, mm -hmm. of your inner power, your inner voice. Every time that you have a thought, interrogate it. Why did I this why am I thinking that? What happened? You know, hey, was it because this person said this? It helps you to understand yourself better and it also helps you to manage your own emotions, to manage mm -hmm. your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, and those things build personal power. So next time, for instance, you are you are more you are more centered. So when next time somebody throws something yeah, at you, it's thoughts. not really, mm. uh, you're like, I know this thing. Mm. Okay. Mm. This was you, really to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, I, I sincerely can connect with a lot of things that you're saying because lately I was telling Owa uh, in a conversation the other time, I've been like, been very deliberate about developing myself. I keep mm -hmm. telling her that I'm eager to meet the higher version of myself. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. So um, the thing you said about being conscious of your inner voice and you know always questioning when people tell you, oh really, what exactly? Mm -hmm. I, I started doing that and honestly I can testify it makes a whole lot of changes, yeah. especially being conscious of your inner voice. It oh, yeah. helps you to like brand yourself. Oh, you're not able, no, I'm this and I'm able to do this because I know that I'm capable of doing oh, yeah. this. I yeah, think yeah, it really, yeah. really helps. Yeah. The other thing is also growing what um, your abilities, your skills, your giftings, and then where, because a lot of people have asked me, identity coach, I mean, how, what do I need you for? And I say, for instance, when you want to go to your next level, so sometimes you have all those ideas in your head and you don't necessarily know how to translate them. Mm -hmm. That's what you need that person for. Mm -hmm. To say, okay, this, what is this? And then because obviously the marketing comes background, we're able to now take whatever it is, either create platforms for you or create ideas, ideologies, things that you can actually 
actually now monetize or oh. um, you can share with other people that can connect you to um, connect them to, to giving you value. So they're like, yeah. okay, this thing, eh. But if you're not able to bring those things to bear as your competencies, as your natural innate abilities, then how does anybody even identify that you can give value in that area? Hmm. Awesome. Uh, so what do you wow. think about Nigeria oh. as an identity? <laughs> what no, do you no, mean as, as an identity? Country, like, how? Let me rephrase it. Okay. <laughs> we, we already have an identity in Nigeria, globally, hmm. right? So how do you think the people living in Nigeria can build an identity separate from Nigeria. The world being Nigeria, yes. You want me to answer truthfully? Yeah, truthfully. Yes, okay, so I think that Nigeria in itself is in a limbo. Nigeria doesn't understand Nigeria. Um, and Nigerians need a total, re we need like a whole Reforming. paradigm shift. Yeah. You know, we have been abused hit left, right, center. So even the average Nigerian doesn't really know who he is. Yeah. So you saying being somebody else, how are you even going to be somebody else? When you, who you are safe, you are still struggling with it. Yeah. So I mean, the nation in itself needs a whole, a whole shift, like a whole, a whole program. Overhauling. Overhauling. What do we stand for? What are our values? Who, you know, what do we stand for as a nation? Who is the Nigerian? So I can say who is the American. I can say, so that's why you are proud of certain things because you have mm. a sort of like an identity and it's important honestly to have an identity mm. because without that, when you say, when you talk about identity, if you don't have one, it makes you feel lost. Okay. It makes you feel a bit you know, you're not sure, you're unsure of yourself, and that's what is happening. We don't really have a Nigerian dream. What is the Nigerian vision? What is the Nigerian dream? What's, what are we going, what's our goal? It's about the next meal. Oh, so it's, yeah, it's about the survival, it's the next, that's why we're all, you know, going against each other, and so because we are thinking of, I need to survive. So what's the Nigerian vision? What's the Nigerian dream? So if you had someone right now, just in final closing, struggling with identity crisis, what, what would you say to that person? Apart from coming to see me, um, what would I say to the person? I would say, slow down um, and internalize. What exactly do you want? Mm. Thank you. What do you want? Thank you. Thank you so much. On that note, <laughs> it's a wrap. Thank you so much, Itindi Bernard. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. The biggest barrier for women in is the thought that they can have it all. Do you agree with that? Is the biggest barrier is that they think they can have it all. Do you think you agree with that? You can't have it all. Okay. All right, nobody can have it all. Okay. All right, so watch your repeat broadcast tomorrow at 8 p.m., uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow, and catch us live tomorrow at uh, 8 p.m. So we'll see you guys. Have a lovely evening.